All right. Good morning. Um, trying to keep things together as I am in the beginning stages again of a really difficult struggle financially and health wise. Um, without money, there's not health. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to um, show you, I don't know, maybe 15 different paintings and put some prices on them for you. I, I don't know what else to do. Uh, it's about 8.40 something in the morning, Monday morning, the 19th of June, 2023. And the times aren't good. I haven't, I haven't been painting, um, which is not good for me. It's not healthy for me to wake up every day and want to go back to bed because I just don't have, I can't take care of myself. There's no opportunity. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to show you some paintings. I'm going to put some prices on these paintings that are again, ridiculous. They're not to be able to take care of myself, to be able to join and uh, be normal in the general public. It's just about survival. If I could sell a painting to be able to purchase some art materials and um, maybe take care of my $50 rent that's coming up, my house rent is coming up here in July, I just would assume take care of this now because I know that if I don't, these five past five days will linger into um, many days and weeks and perhaps months ahead of really unnecessary struggles. So that's my rant. Uh, I wish things were better. I wake up feeling so much better when I have just a little bit to be thankful for. But I, I've fallen in this spot so many times over the years that it amazes me that how little support I received for my work. So again, I have to take the social media to try to survive. Um, like I said, there's, there's nothing good right now happening. You know, the, the first, and I'll get to it in a second. The first part of this year has been wonderful. There's been not, not wonderful, but just, just kind of okay. You know, where in the past I haven't had that feeling, but it doesn't take much to fall right back into that spot of not having, you know, and it just took five days for me to realize that not having art supplies, not having money, not having health care. Um, I don't want to wake up again today and go right back to bed. I don't. I want to be productive with my time, but I can't. Um, don't, this isn't a feel sorry for me. Um, it just, I'm going through a struggle and it's, it's like I said, it's unnecessary. Like it, said the soul uh, the soles on my shoes are falling off things things could be better that's all I'm saying um, and I'm trying so uh, discredit me all you want for making these videos and making myself look you know like a buffoon but I have to do something I cannot afford to survive on nothing. Again, I said the other day, I'm appreciative of the people who do try to help me. But at the same time, my craft, my talent, my creativity is accelerating and I'm going nowhere financially. So being stuck is not a good feeling, knowing that uh, what I've done in the past is remarkable with the resources and the financial limitations that have been put against me, set against me. The work that I've created in the face of adversity, overcoming the opposition, is incredible. But I'm the only one that celebrates that. So when I noticed that something went wrong last Wednesday, and it's now Monday, and I'm not being productive, I, I just don't care. Um, like I said, the only thing I'm waking up to is... Um, it, it's nice to have a home and to have food, but... A person needs more, and I have more to offer, but yet I'm being excluded from that fact in my reality, in my community, in my city, in my state. So don't feel sorry for me. Like I said, 
I could, uh, there's a possibility I'm going to show you these paintings and try selling them for almost nothing and I might not make a sale. There's that possibility. And, uh, and with that possibility, I could be just wasting my time and this could just keep lingering on and on for days, the struggle and uncertainty of not being able to take care of my health, not having a little bit of money in my pockets. Yeah. It is what it is, I guess. Um, people have the right to hold people back, such as myself, and that's fine. I'll, I'll deal with that. Um, but I've got to try. Like I said, after I show these paintings, most likely I'll go back to bed. It's about 9 a.m., and I'm just not in the mood to stay awake when I don't have the things that I need to be able to take care of myself. And if I miss out on my rent here coming up um, in July... I'm, I'm almost certain in my mind that I'm going to move into a nursing home. I, I, I just, I'm almost certain. And it'll cost the people in the state of Michigan four or five times the amount of money. For me to, to, to be established in a nursing home rather than just making sure I have the the basic necessities of everyday life. People would rather pay more to see me suffer even worse in a nursing home. So that's my plan and I don't know what else to do. Like I said, um, I, I hate making these rants. That it's so counterproductive. Um, and like I said, I, I'm not ready to stop painting. I wanna keep painting, but I'm stapling pieces of boards together that are broken to make the proper pieces so that I can paint on. And it's not, it's not my finest work. Without that said, I'm gonna move on. I know nobody likes to see anybody down or, or yet they do like to see people down and then turn a blind eye to them. So here you go. Um, Flintstones Vacation to Menominee, one of, I don't know, 30 or 40 different pieces I did in the past. This is on a canvas, $25 for this. And it's uh, 16 by 20. And I did this one in 2017. It's part of my Flintstones vacation to Menominee. $25 for that, that's on a canvas, ready to hang, wall art. These next three pieces that I'm gonna show you are pieces that are stapled together up and down the seams because these boards were broken, but I wanted to paint. Um, I'm gonna show you these three pieces. Nah, should I, I don't, yeah, nothing. I don't know. I don't know, but. I hate uncertainty. I do. I just hate uncertainty. Like I said, I have so many new ideas to paint, but I can't even afford the paints, the paint. These are the last of my acrylics right here. Just a little bit in there. I got white paint and a little bit of black, but it, it just, it amazes me that I'm just amazed that a person can do so much to prove themselves, can be so, so far away from the normalcies of life. Like I said, I've, I've been doing painting for a long time, almost two decades, and I've never made a dollar. I've never been in the black. I've never earned enough to, to be able to take care of myself. And that's obvious. Um, because welfare um, dominates my life. That is the only thing that saves me from falling off the edge of the mountain. I'm making 
wages or or uh, salary for a year that is comparable to somebody in the 1920s and 30s would be earning per year. I'm a hundred years behind. I'm a hundred years behind. It sickens me. It makes me feel as a, almost as if I've been handed a death sentence. This isn't easy living this way. But I have, I have the seed of failure implanted, ingrained in me. Even though I'm talented, creative, I could show you all my work. I was going to show you and try to, to list things for sale, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm done. I don't know what to do. Like I said, I had about 15 paintings I was going to try to sell for $25 each, but I don't think that's going to work. That won't, that won't help take care of uh, new shoes today. That won't take care of my health care. That won't put it, I guarantee nobody's going to come by and try to buy a painting just to, to help me pay my $50 um, rent that's that's coming up. So the days will linger and get worse and worse and worse. And mentally, I don't know how much I should be able to have to, have to take. I don't get it. And physically. Without health care, I'm shitting and dying in my own hole. And the best people are going to do is say, oh, he deserves everything he's got, which is, which is my breath. I don't get it. Like I said, I'm, I'm done. I'll just sit here and I'll sit in my chair and sleep. I just don't know what else to do. And people who know me know that I enjoy being productive with my time. I have ideas for future paintings, for paintings right now to do, but I can't afford it. I can't even sell. I've got hundreds of hundreds of paintings that are cool and I can't sell one of them once in a while to be able to, to maintain my position. That is, that is ridiculous. Absurd. Absurd that I got to sit here in uncertainty and not be able to continue to do what I love to do. Oh, well. Yeah, I was going to try to sell some of these paintings for $25 each, but I just, I don't think it'll work. So that's it.